Hi guys, this is Maggie from Rock Paper Copy and in this video I'm going to show you how your website review will work and what we will analyze when running a website critique. So Rock Paper Copy runs very popular website critiques where we review uh, online stores and online uh, businesses with online presence and you can order the critique over at www.rockpapercopy.com and if you click on critiques you will have a chance to pick either a web a um, text critique or a video critique and in this clip I'm going to show you what is being reviewed in um, in video critique and just to clarify the text critique will review the same elements they just will will focus more on um, well it will be just tr transcription or or the text version of the review but what video is different what video does is um, is gives you um, it gives you the the walkthrough and the user experience on your website. So what I do when I review the website, I do not go to the website first because I want to have I want you to have this kind of first fresh um, experience of the fresh eyes. So the so how the user or your first time visitors how would they perceive your website so will they understand what you're offering um, on your home page will they understand what can they find um, is your offer transparent is it um, is your website converting well does it um, does it is it engaging and um, and is it enticing me to click and to browse further. So the first thing I review when I um, run a video critique is I go on a home page and check the above default area. So above default is the area um, that I see without the need to scroll down on your home page. So basically the logo area, the header, the menu and this area here. So this is the key um, key thing on your website this is your website first impression because majority of people will click on your home page first sometimes they click to um, other pages if they find you in google searches or in in certain marketing uh, funnels but majority of of your visitors will um, will come to your home page first so Above default is quite important to optimize well, so you have to um, give the right first impression, you have to connect with the visitors. Also, um, the menu has to be quite easy to understand, has to have um, strong calls to action and be legible. The logo has to be obviously hyperlink, but this is pretty standard. Uh, standard standard format right now uh, in websites and obviously has to be quite consistent with your branding and with your niche. Um, homepage needs to have a lot of content so obviously I will review if your if your homepage has got a content that can keep visitor um, longer so what keeps visitor longer um, videos are great because obviously if you if you put or if you upload 30 second clip you know that people will want to watch it until the end if it's engaging obviously if it's interesting and valuable and that means that that visitors spend this um, 30 seconds on your website which is quite important ranking factor for Google and Google pays quite a lot of attention um, to how long your visitors on your website how many pages they visit do they click further to visit other pages or do they click back straight away Obviously, if Google uh, ta sees that uh, people spend only a short period of time on your website or if the visits bounce, uh, which means that people click on your website and click back right away, it is a very negative signal and can definitely, um, it can definitely um, affect your Google rank because Google loves to um, loves to feature websites that deliver valuable content, and it um, it 
the the length of the visit um, obviously sends signals that that um, your website gives valuable content because people are staying are sticking around um, to read it or to watch it. Obviously, I look at internal links. I look at calls to action such as buttons with um, with unique calls to action. Uh, internal links are quite important. Um, featured products, featured um, featured collections are also important. Um, I also review your footer. <clears throat> it is quite important to have extra navigation in your footer because people don't want to click click um, all the way up even if you have got sticky menu like like this people don't want to uh, they don't want to click back they don't want to go back to the top of your website um, but they want to um, to have this kind of nice user experience they, they want to have this kind of convenience that they find links to other pages here so I will see how many links you've got in your footer if they are all working and and uh, if you are using uh, if you are using the uh, the main keywords as well. Um, the next element I'll check is your about us page. So obviously the content about us page, whether it is SEO friendly, your shipping page or delivery page, your contact us page, your returns page. So first of all, I'll check if you already have them. These are quite important trust signals. So. Um, each online store should have them in order to convert visitors into buyers. And if you have these pages, I will also review them if all the information is easy to find, if the content is optimized for the search engines, and also if it's user-friendly as well. And I'll also check um, your blog. If you are blogging regularly, blog is quite, well, it is very important for SEO. And in my other video that you can see right now, I tell you exactly why blogging is important for SEO. So please check it out. Um, and the last thing that I, um, not last thing, but the next thing which I don't really have on my pay, on my website, and you will have if you run e-commerce store, is your collection page and it is the product page. So collection page, I'll check if it has got um, great layout. So if you don't have, you know, products crammed in one row, but if your products are nicely displayed, that are quite, um, quite easy to, um, easy to, um, easy to find the necessary info. Sometimes you see that on the collection page, if you display five or six items per row, sometimes the images get squashed and it's difficult to see the difference between each image. So it is it is um, recommended to feature um, up to four images, ideally maybe three images per row on a collection page because that's how you improve your conversion rate. Um, in retail, less is more and I talk about it on my on my blog, on, on the website. So please also check it out. And when it comes to the product page, I review whether your product title is SEO friendly, whether you have detailed and unique product descriptions, whether your add to cart and all the necessary info is above the fold, uh, whether you have reviews, although this is not a deal breaker, but uh, I will also check if you have got great um, upselling and cross-selling strategy in place in in the form of related products and whether the related products element is um, is correctly optimized as well and the last thing I review is the SEO so search engine optimization uh, score of your website and I'll tell you what elements um, what elements need uh, need to be improved. So I hope you found this video useful and as I mentioned if you'd like to order a critique for your own store head over to rockpapercopy.com and click on critiques. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.